Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's recipe is for cauliflower and fish curry. The ingredients you're going to need are onions, garlic paste, salt, turmeric, coriander, chili and curry powder. We've got some fresh chilies here and obviously you'll need the cauliflower which I've cut into decent sized pieces, not too big, not too small. And then obviously the fish. And what I've done to this fish is I've cut it up into smallish pieces and I've sprinkled a pinch of turmeric powder and a pinch of salt, mixed it together and just lightly fried it. I did that off camera just to save time. Um, so now let's get on with the recipe. In this pan, I've got some oil heating up and this is the same oil that I've fried the fish in. Um, and into this oil, we're gonna add in the garlic paste first. Now the onions. And along with that, just add in the salt as well. Now what you're going to do is you're going to allow this to cook uh, with the lid on until the onions break down completely. Um, that should take about 10 minutes and just keep coming back in between to give it a mix so it doesn't stick to the bottom. But make sure it's on the lowest heat otherwise you risk burning it. And when I get to that stage I'll be right back. So it's been about 5 minutes. And the onions have started to fry and golden up. What we're going to do is add some water in just to help it along. And we need these to break down completely. So that's going to take another 10 minutes, I would say. So just put the lid back on, on low heat, and leave it for another 10 minutes. And remember to keep coming back to stir it, otherwise it will stick. And you'll have to start all over again, which would be a disaster. So another 10 minutes, I will be back. So now that the onions have broken down, and what I have done is I've used a potato masher to help them break down a little bit more because this is going to be the base of your curry, it's going to be the source of it, so it needs to be relatively smooth, not fully smooth but relatively smooth. And now into that what we're going to do is add in our chilies and all your powders. Give that a mix. Add a splash of water. Maybe another splash. Just so the spices don't burn. Leave it on low heat. Put the lid back on for another two minutes. So it's been about two minutes, the spices have been frying, and you can tell that the spices are cooked because the oil has come to the surface. And now into that, we're going to add our cauliflower. Let's just bung it in. Now coat the cauliflower in the spices. spices are looking so bright on this video and that's because the light is on because it's actually noon now it's dark outside sorry about that my toddler had fallen over and started to cry uh, where was I yeah so we need to cover the cauliflower not cover coat the cauliflower in the spices which I've done now and then pop the lid on 
and let that steam for about five minutes and remember please come back and check it do not just leave it otherwise it will burn and stick to the bottom and that will ruin the whole dish so leave it five minutes to steam and then we'll come back and move on to the next step so it's been about five minutes now what we're going to do is add in the water Uh, not enough to cover it, but just about submerge it. There we go. Don't know if you could hear my neighbour shouting, as per usual. Anyway, yeah, so the water is in. Now what you're going to do is put the heat on high and bring this to a boil. So... The cauliflower has now come to a boil. What we're going to do is put the lid on, leave it on high heat and let that boil until the cauliflower is cooked about 80% and then we'll move on. So my cauliflower is about 80% cooked. So I've just checked it with a fork. It goes in pretty easily. So now what we're going to do is add in the fish pieces. So just on the top. a slight mix don't try over mixing it because you'll break all the cauliflower and leave that for about two minutes and boil the kettle because you need to put hot water into this to make the sauce you could use cold water but it ruins the color of the curry so just pop the lid on just for until your kettle is boiled. So my kettle is boiled. Now what you're gonna do is just add in enough water. To your liking basically, how saucy you want it. Not too much. Then try and get the fish in there. I might add a tad bit more water. There we go. Leave the heat on high. Let this come to a boil again. So my curry has come to a rolling boil. Now what I'm going to do is switch the heat up. Check the salt, which I've already done. It's perfect. And then just sprinkle some coriander on top. Now this is optional, you don't have to, it just adds a nice freshness to it. That looks like a lot of coriander, but once you mix it in, it won't be that much, I promise. Now, put the lid back on, let that sit and let the flavours marry together for about 10 minutes and then we're ready to serve up. So that was my recipe for cauliflower and fish curry. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please leave a like. Uh, remember to subscribe to the channel and if you have any... Um, requests of what you'd want me to cook next please leave them in the comments below and i'll definitely give it a go and i'll catch you in my next video bye